We are back today for another episode of Pack Attack, and I'm just getting right into it again. Because again, we don't have anything going on before we have to hop into a game. We've got no new additions to the team. We have no program wheel to spin. So we're just going to hop right into it, and this guy is scary. We saw his record. Pretty good record. I'll flash up his lineup here because he had all kinds of parallel fives, including a parallel five to Grom. So I'm going to take this first half inning to focus on hitting, and then we'll talk about stuff we need to talk about when I'm on the mound. Let's not, let's not start this here. Come on. Uh, you know that was coming sooner or later, and I didn't quite get around on it. That one I hit pretty well, but I don't think it's good enough. Yeah, sometimes we get used to Karu hitting some bombs that I forget that his power isn't actually all that high, so a swing like that isn't really good enough to do a ton of damage. Oh, and that w I thought that was the slider again, and I checked it up because I did... I'm going to have a lot more trouble locking in to start hitting DeGrom than I did Burns the last couple games. But all right, now that we're on the mound, we can talk about some things because... Last episode, as of right now, is at 12 likes, so good number there, guys. That's going to immediately start us out with a guaranteed 2,400 stubs for today's episode. So as always, you guys already know, hit that like button so you can add 200 stubs towards next episode. Oh, and he kind of, well, he didn't make the best swing. We'll take that. But then also last episode, we again didn't get very good pack luck. But I still, in very few packs, managed to add 2,866 stubs to the stub bank. And there we go. Nice first pitch out. So our stub bank is now up to 17,926. We're moving up slowly. We got to have another big game, big pack opening. But that's going to take quite the turnaround here against DeGrom because I feel like I am going to be struggling. Okay, he's having some trouble with the heat inside the lefties. Maybe I can live there a bit. Uh, if that got down that line. There we go. Hit the spot. He didn't know what to do. He swung as late as you can swing. All right, man, we might have a pitcher's duel on our hands unless I can figure out DeGrom here real quick. I don't think I got enough of that. Yeah, no, I was off of that. Two seam got me swinging in the wrong place. That is one problem that I've had since this game released. And I don't remember having it before, but when a righty's on the mound, lefty at the plate, and they throw it outside, I have not yet this entire year been able to make that adjustment and get the PCI far enough outside. Okay, there we go. That works. And I, I got the PCI over there this time. Maybe it's just an adjustment I have to make. But there we go. We're, we're on the board first when it comes to getting on base, and that's a double. Oh, and that's the pitch I was sitting on, but I just, I had that little bit of doubt creep in that he was going to throw a slider, and that's what made me just that little bit late. Oh, and he... Again, I'm so ready for that slider that I, that just froze me. At least I put together some better at bats that inning. We got that double. We're trending in the right direction. And there we go. We're going to keep getting outs with lighter up there. I don't like that he finally turned on something hard, something fast. But maybe that opens him up to swing at some more junk, hopefully. Or he's going to try and lay one down. Okay, that's. I guess I could have brought the defense in, couldn't I? No, nope, we'll, we'll, we'll do good. Second grounder right back to lighter. Okay, he took that. So if he's in that mode, this should get him. You gotta, you gotta give me that game. Perfect release. I'm throwing the same pitch. I don't even care. There we go. And he's not going to. I might have gotten enough of that. Oh, no, just to the track. I shouldn't be swinging at that. That's an easy ball. That should be an easy take. But I do like the fact that I made almost as good of a swing as you can on a pitch like that. Oh, lighter. <laughs> That's a pitch that I want to see with somebody who can actually swing the bat a bit. Okay, well, this is uh, kind of shaping up to be like the last couple of games. Rod Carew is going to be due up to make his second at bat to start the fourth inning. We've been getting shut down so far. Is that a third grounder back to lighter? Well, there it is. 
I was kind of at the point where I wasn't really expecting him to make any good swings. I thought that was actually a pretty good pitch. He must just, for whatever reason, be ready for that. I... Okay, that's another swing I wasn't expecting from him. I do not like that. I don't like that he all of a sudden turned on that pitch. I mean, I guess silver lining, good thing, is when Rod Carew hits his home run here, that means he won't just quit. There's the home run. So Rod Carew's keeping it consistent here. That's three games in a row with a solo shot in his second at bat of the game in the fourth inning. I even saw that coming. I knew that was the exact pitch he was going to throw. I was probably still early. Yeah, I felt like I waited back. This is turning into the hit Jacob deGrom's slider challenge. Oh, but Varsho, that one is going to carry. Oh, that's not a good swing. That is the 125 power and the Coors Altitude doing its work right there. And I will say thank you. And he's still in the game, so we're, we're on here. We're playing. Polanco, that's not going to get down. Oh my god. God, just, just hit one slider. Okay, that's a weird decision. I'll take my walk on that pitch. I don't know why you wouldn't go slider again. I will not hit that pitch this whole game, will I? I'll hit that pitch. We get a nice animation there. I don't know though, he might be smart and he might be walking this guy to bring up my pitcher here and make me make a choice. Or not he is gonna okay he's pitching to him oh and he gave me one that i should have that's not getting up through the middle okay well we did some damage we took the lead back two solo shots put together some good at bats made him throw some pitches this game's looking pretty good I'm just gonna live here he refuses to swing at the pitch in this location never mind he swung and we'll take our out oh nice Elevated slider works for lighter too. And that one is not going to have enough to do any damage. That was a nice quick fourth. Let's keep it going. Keep the pressure on him. That one might have enough. Oh, I was early. I was ready for that pitch. That is what I was sitting on. And I finally hit the Jacob deGrom slider. Challenge complete. I guess all you have to do is actually guess the pitch correctly. Is he going to be done with deGrom here? Is he giving up on him? Man, look at his numbers, though, that we can see. 0.7 whip, 254 ERA, almost a 12 Ks per nine with a, a 0.25 walks per nine. He's got him to parallel five. You know he's not loading into a ranked game expecting anyone to score three runs off of deGrom in the first five innings and there we go he does make the move eckersley coming into the game eckersley's tough though i i have a lot of trouble with eckersley yeah okay don't know what happened there we uh we might actually have to start getting prepared for the conversation that julio rodriguez might not be very good i mean i'm definitely gonna give him a little bit more leeway than i gave alec thomas and zach veen but like to this point man julio he's probably got like 15 or so at bats batting like 120 with a lot of strikeouts i mean three strikeouts today and he already had a lot of strikeouts Okay, well, I hung that, so a base hit is probably like the best case scenario right there. Come on, turn two here. We got a fast runner. Ah, it's not going to happen. Ah, is it a little early to... Yeah, no, it is. Because I don't want to... I don't want to put Albert on, have him bring someone off the bench. Okay, well, never mind. Now we'll, now we'll put Albert on with a base open. Or do I even need to? Do I even need to? I'm going to stick with this here. Oh, he's going to give me the free out. Or not, apparently. He was safe. Really? Are we sure? Okay. Grounder to De La Cruz. No need to worry. We got out of it clean. The only bad thing is now we have to face Eckersley for another inning. But I just, I didn't want to put the uh, tying run on base and make him make the choice of whether or not he wanted to leave Eckersley in because he would have just taken him out, brought in somebody who would have been crazy against lefties, and then we run the risk of him hitting a three-run shot. I can't miss that. No, saw that it was a hanger and I was still too early. Oh, okay, well that 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 at bat turns out as a positive anyway. Dalton Varsho with his second homer of the game. We've hit we've hit four solo shots, and that's our offense. 
Oh, and Polanco, that's going to tail. It didn't tail enough, though. Too fast out there and left. Is that a fair ball? It is Josh Young with a base hit. That one I don't feel good about, though, on the very early swing. Right back up the middle. Nice job, Yohan. Two on here. One out. We have a chance to score more this inning. I'm hitting Eckersley way better than I thought I would, and he's probably coming out here. Yeah, it's Tom Hankey. No, you, you can't actually wait back and time up the fork ball and then get too far under it. Ah, okay, then with two outs, I'm st I'll just leave lighter in. He's going good on the mound. He wants me to take him out, though, for some reason. Yeah, okay. That's what's keeping us from putting this game away early, though is I'm hitting my home runs with nobody on base, but I'm having plenty of situations where guys are on base, but I'm not coming through in those spots. I need to hit my homers when there's two on. I don't know, maybe I should have taken lighter out because I don't know how much longer I want to leave him in anyway. Oh, come on, lighter, you need to make a play here. He's got speed and there we go. Lighter with the PFPs today. Lots of grounders right back to him. Oh. You don't like to see that get through. Come on, Mankata. Got to make the play. Nice job. Six innings for Lighter. Three-run lead. Keep it going. We don't want to let up off the gas. He's going to another righty. Yuan Duran. Oh, and did I just go deep on his first pitch? Why are you throwing the splitter there? Come on, man. Is that is that the one that's going to make him quit? It is. He had enough of my solo home runs. And there we go, man. Another massive amount of rating after just one game there. Plus 49. We're all the way up to 590 here. I'm going to have to play really well for the rest of this season on Pack Attack. And that game made me feel really good about it. I know we're still on All-Star, but facing parallel five to Grom and I still managed to put up runs early. Lots of good swings, lots of hits. I like where we're at. All right, but let's get into the stats. Let's get into the stubs here. And that actually turned out to be an even better game than I realized at the time. So we'll start with the runs. The five runs gives us 2,500 stubs. We had 25 total bases in that one. So that's another 5,000. I did draw one walk. So that's an extra 200. And the five home runs gives us an extra 1,000. We got our every five hit bonus the one time, one hit short of getting up to 10 hits, so we get 500 from that. And then this is a big one, because both Honus Wagner and Dalton Varsho both had multi-home run games. So each of them gives us another 2,000 apiece, so 4,000 stubs from two different multi-home run games. I did strike out seven times though, so that takes away 700. But then over to the mound, we had six innings pitched, so that's good for 3,600. The three hits allowed takes away 600, and then the one run allowed takes away 500. I only struck him out three times, though. So that's only going to give us 600 back. But then the complete game adds on another 1,500 stubs there from Lighter. And then we get another 1,500 for the win, another 1,500 for him quitting, and that was our 30th win. So we get our every five win 1,500 stub bonus. And then we add on our 12 likes, giving us 2,400 stubs. And we finish with 24,000 stubs from that game, but we still have the multiple which for today's game is at times 1.205 and that comes from a four game winning streak four parallel ones nine parallel twos and a parallel three so that is going to add on another 4920 stubs bringing our final total for the game today to 28920 stubs that is the exact kind of game that we needed enough stubs to still spin the pack wheel again but also to add a bunch more show packs on top of it to make a decent amount of stubs today i feel like unless these packs give us a ton of free agents i feel like we are almost guaranteed enough stubs being added to the bank so we can spin a program wheel to start next episode which is definitely something we could use but the 14 show packs plus the pack wheel spin that cost 29,000 stubs so we had to take 80 stubs from the bank to round up to that 14th pack but here we go let's start ripping into these and maybe i mean 14 packs that's a lot of chances to get some good pack odds here and get a good 
good pull. Maybe a chase pack, maybe, I don't know, some kind of diamond. Something more exciting than a 85 overall starting pitcher, maybe. Third pack and we get a gold. Sean Murphy. I don't know why I said that like I was all excited to get him. Fourth pack and another bunch of bronzes here, but they're all on teams. That's what we're looking for. That could be like a 2,000 stub pack. We could have doubled what we spent on it. Didn't get anything for, well, I mean, I shouldn't even say that because even commons that are on teams can go for a decent amount. And silvers, you never know either. As long as they're on a team, it's a good pull. This is going to be the halfway point here. The seventh pack, we get a gold and a silver. Eighth pack, nothing exciting yet but we are getting a lot of just solid ones we're we got a lot of stubs to make today i definitely have that feeling i mean this one's not even good but we still get that which you never know you never know when you pull a bronze that's on a team this one i mean that there we go again though as long as they're on a team man it doesn't matter if the other three are common free agents if you get that bronze that's on a team that could be something and this could be something a diamond collectible uh it's just gonna be an icon so that'll just be the thousand stubs but that guarantees that this pack is a profit three more to go another couple bronzes but they're both on teams i would say this is a pretty good pack opening it might not seem like it okay this is that's the first probably bad one well we still got a, a uh, no that's not good never mind last show pack anything from the last one nope just a couple more bronzes but you know what it wasn't pretty it's not flashy but we'll make our stubs from it and then we do have the silver topper because we did get a 10 pack bundle as part of the 14 packs so we have the topper on top of it all it is just oh, that's the exact same guy we just pulled him in last uh pack opening from a silver topper unfortunately though for us that silver topper came from our pack wheel spin last time. I think the last three pack wheel spins have been really bad. I think it's been a show pack, a ball and pack, and then just a silver topper. So I think we're due for a pretty decent spin here. So let's do it. Let's spin it. What do we got today? We get, there it is. There's something good. Man, I feel like it's been a while since we've got something exciting out of the pack wheel. But an all-star game choice pack, that is something that can be fun here. I need to get a refresher who's even in this pack. Man, I don't know about this base round. I don't know who's the better option between Kershaw and Classe. Middle round, I think I'll go Helsley. I know we had the live series Helsley earlier on on our pack attack team, and he didn't do very well in just a couple outings but this 97 was good big round big rounds tough you know what we'll just wait to make that decision if it comes to it because chances are it won't even come to it it's one in ten odds that we get that big elite round so let's just open it up see which one we end up with and it's gonna be the middle round okay that's like, <laughs> this is the only one that I actually made a clear cut decision on. And of course, now that I'm sitting here, I am kind of second guessing it because I know I love Buxton and his swing and how his cards play. Oh man, I really am second guessing it now. Hang on. Oh, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's get Buxton. Let's completely flip flop what we're going to do. I know the bullpen's important and I'm going to be upset if it comes to the point where we could have used Helsley, but let's be honest. It's not like our bullpen gets used a ton and we already have a bunch of other good righty arms out there that who even knows we might be 10 games deep after this and Helsley would have only thrown an inning in a third but Buxton we know he's gonna play every game oh and I know I was so good with that 90 from all the way back at the beginning of the year. I was unstoppable with that 90 overall Buxton who barely had any hitting. He wasn't even that good. His attributes were not even that good and all I did with them was hit no doubters. So I'm gonna take him. We're gonna take probably a risk but the 97 overall all-star game byron buxton is getting added to the team we'll figure out where he's gonna go to start next episode and chances are we're gonna have a program wheel to spin also so that'll be where we go ahead and end this episode so again guys make sure if you haven't left your like already to hit that like button so you can add 200 stubs towards the next one and also if you're not already subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button for me last Last I saw, we're 36 subscribers away from that 1,000 mark. But guys, that does it for this one today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And I will see you next time.